Hello everyone. Uh, this video is a little out of the ordinary for me, but it's an important topic that I really want to touch on. Because today I want to talk about my middle school years and my experience there. Because I, I just finished my first year of high school now. I'm looking back at what I did in middle school and I think there's a lot of things that I just want to address here. Number one is that school really only sets you for one expectation, and that expectation is to get good grades, right? Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with this. That's a perfectly good expectation to have. However, when it's the only one you're provided with, it's, it's very much not enough, right? Grades are just one piece to the puzzle of living a fulfilling life as a middle schooler. Right, um, it, it, the general advice was just get good grades and you'll be fine. And it's not entirely wrong, but I think there's a bit of a flaw with the way we're looking at it. Because at the end of the day, why should you in middle school be fine when you could be better, right? The school sets you up with the, the expectation to do things to make you fine. But there's so much more to it. I was never really told in middle school that you could improve yourself, you know, that there's things you could do outside of school to improve your intelligence, to improve your physical capabilities, to improve your mental health. It was just kind of do your schoolwork and be quiet about it. And I wish, I wish that I had done more of the valuable things, like exercise. I like deepening my knowledge, I like finding things I'm passionate about, right? Because I've kind of developed like a, a formula for trying to live life the best I can. And right now, what I've found is that I do best when I pick one to two physical hobbies, one to two creative hobbies, and one to two social hobbies, right? Uh, school gives you a job, but it doesn't give you hobbies. And I can tell you right now, I did not have enough of them in middle school. My life was go to school, do my homework, and then play video games, and then go to sleep, and do it all again. And I think there's a lot of people like me. And I just, I, I want to reiterate as much as I can, there's so much more to it than that. That you can find so much more in life if you just adopt things greater than grades, right? Find yourself, because this is just my advice to any young people out there, find yourself creative hobbies, find yourself so social hobbies, right? Go out with your friends, go outside, develop a hobby for hiking or weightlifting or running or any physical activity. Help your creative hobbies, like literally anything. It could be any form of art, any form of music, any form of. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But with a combination of creative, physical, and social hobbies, on top of the commitment to school you already have, you'll find yourself busy, but in a really good way. I still struggle with this to this day. I, I have many, many days where I just feel like I don't get enough done. But I can tell you, I'm doing a lot better now under this you know, rough system than I was in 7th and 8th grade. So yeah, uh, this video is a little rambling. I didn't actually like, write a script for it. <laughs> so, yeah. Apologize for that, but it's just something I wanted to talk about. I'll probably cover this topic more in depth later as I get better at what I'm doing. This is really like the first time I've made one of these videos before, so yeah, it's not exactly top tier quality, but if you take anything away from this, just remember that school is not everything. There's so much more than that. You're just gonna find things you're passionate about and it'll make you so much happier. Thank you.